Hello guys, welcome to one more the out of the box developer. Here we are with a very hot topic for today. We are a great team here. We will be discussing about the new features of Java 22. It's a pretty hot new release of Java bringing a lot of, of new features and new performances. Let's start with your whole our team our team of awesome stars here with Sila Zando. Hi Sila. Uh, hi Igor. How are you doing? Are you are you excited about our subject today about the new features of Java? Yes, sure. So uh, it's already about uh, two weeks or three weeks old, the new Java version. And you know, there are some new features that you can um, just use right away. And uh, I'm hoping to um, learn a lot more today. So absolutely. Me too. <laughs> Let's see. Awesome. And now with Pedro Cavallero. Hi, Pedro. How are you doing? Hey, hey. Hello. Hello, Chila. Hello, Chavo. Hello, Igor. Yeah, man. But did you see the news today? Java just was Java was bought by Microsoft. The next version of Java will not be Java 22 anymore. It will oh, be Java 365. No, did no, you see no. that? No, I, you are kidding, right? <laughs> of course, it's April first, right? Yeah, the, <laughs> April first is okay. No, no. <laughs> I can't do that today. <laughs> let's migrate. But to it, it will be that. interesting. <laughs> so Java today, the, we are going to talk about Python twenty two. No, 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 just kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> Who knows? Going... <laughs> wow. Ooh, people oh. got people got scared now. Oh my! <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Awesome. Java 365. Wow. And uh, let, let me give you just a, a, a hello for Jordan here in the, the chat. And yeah, it, it will be also people people that are watching us if they if, if you want to, to write anything, if you put here any questions about our our subject today, it, it will be awesome. Absolutely. Uh, feel free to interact with us, all of you guys. And going now with Tiago Bonfin, or Java Man of the Night. How you doing, Java? How you doing, Tiago? <laughs> hello, hello, Igor. Hello, everyone. I'm doing great. And uh, also, hello, George. And hello, everyone. Uh, please put in the chat where are you from or where are you now. Please put in the chat, and uh, we are going to interact a lot. So. Yeah. Awesome. That will be great to be learning about of that, about all of these new features. We will be kind of looking to these, not just only the new features, but a little bit of what's new for you that are Java developers and how this impact in your changing your daily work. There are also a lot of performance enhancements coming on these and new features that you don't see that straight off the box you just use that and feel that's more performatic but i believe we are going to focus more here looking on what changes for you in your daily work uh, while you're playing around right and mm, me myself with all of this awesome team here i i hope to learn a lot from today's session So when you want, guys, we can get started. All right. It's OK, Thiago? Yeah, sure. You need to share the screen. Yeah. Go ahead. So yeah, uh, I'm going to share many new features about Java. And our title is Java Chantry is born, and you are already updated. I'm Thiago Bonfi. Uh, I'm here also with Igor, Pedro, and Chila. And I do also want you on the chat to interact with us. So please put on the chat which version of Java are you using in your current project. And you are going to discuss a lot of new features that can help you to deliver better solutions and also become more productivity. Okay. 
So, so that let's start. So, uh, but just, you can... just a minute. Okay, can, can I just put here? George just said here it's just to make us a little envy. Huh. Today, <laughs> Balneário Camboriú, it's a really beautiful place here in Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. a walking on the beach. Yeah, like walking the beach and, and, and listening about Java 22. It's awesome. That's <laughs> great. The right you, combination. <laughs> forget to text there if you have any questions, George. I, I know that it's much more pleasant to see the beach and all that awesome nature, but it's great to have you here with us uh, wanting to learn together. Yes, for sure. Okay, so today we are going to talk about three main things. How to increase your productivity, your development productivity. So we are going to talk a lot of, of, about many features. Then we are going to talk about the frameworks and the future. And last but not least, how to stay up to date with the news. So. Let's start talking about how increase your development productivity. But before starting talking about uh, the new things, we need to know a little bit what is a JAP. JAP it's a JDK enhancement proposal, and this is basically a document whose purpose is to add a new feature, new enhancement to Java. Okay, so said that. Uh, this is very important to know this kind of thing because you are going to talk a lot about JAPs. And it's important to know that not all the things are done by JAPs. Usually, big things are done by JAPs. Okay, great. So let's see some features and how can you use them. So let's start easy. Let's start with a string because I think most of us know a string. So in this case, you have uh, a poem, a lot of concatenations of string, and this works. If you're using Java 8, 11, this works. And we can also use string builder. However, it's not very clean, right? So I ask you, can we improve it? And the answer is yes, we can. We can use text blocks. So if you're using Java 17, you can use text blocks and this is much better however i ask you again can you improve it and the answer is yes we can we can use string templates that was available on java 21 and we can do something like that and now we do not need to have the concat the concatenation anymore and this is much better and if you are using java 22 now we have the second preview of string templates, and this means that string templates is keeping uh, improving, and this is amazing. Uh, okay, I, I uh, think I see the difference between the twenty one and twenty two. Uh, yeah, uh, in this case, I, I didn't bring the, the difference. Uh, string template uh, in uh, it's important to just explain a little bit about the preview feature. Uh, a preview mm -hmm. feature doesn't mean that you cannot use it, but it means that uh, if you use it, maybe can have a break chain. So you uh, should be aware of it. If you want to use preview features, you can. You can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, they work. <laughs> it's not like something that you not work, but they can uh, change in the future, change something, and then you have break chain. It's not the case and they still improving uh, string template support other things this is only one simple example okay mm -hmm. and it's so simple that you can think yeah it's okay i guess so let's bring a better example so maybe a json i think most of us are familiar with that so what happened in this case in this case if you are using java 11 for example Maybe you have something like that, a lot of concatenation. Yeah, not very clean, right? We can also use string builder, but yeah, maybe get worse, at least for read and understand. So yeah, a chaos. So if I ask you, can you improve it? I hope you answer yes, 
because I've shown you. So we can use text blocks if you are using Java 17 and get much better than the previous one. However, we still need to pass the variables. We still have this percent %s, and this can cause bugs, right? If you flip these uh, parameters, we can introduce a bug. So I asked you again, can we improve it? And again, I hope you answer yes, because we know that now we can use string templates and you can have something like that. And this is much better. And I know maybe you can look on that and you say, oh, this is really hard to, to read. You have Java code inside your string. It's not easy. So actually, it's more like that. Uh, sorry about this previous image, uh, but if you're using IntelliJ or some IDE in the latest version, probably you have something like that. And with that, you can use the things from Java inside your string, and you can do that thing like that and yeah, have all the powerful of string and Java and much easier to read and to use. Amazing. Job well yeah. done. Uh, I'm going to pass to the other one. If you want to interrupt me and add anything, feel free, okay? I don't know. You yeah, can you go back? Can you go back? Yes, yeah, sure. Just want to add about that. And that's much more readable like if you compare, especially with uh, Spring Builder yeah. that you only had that a few years ago. Yes. That, that that was painful uh, to to read the JSON with that. It's mm -hmm. not JSON. It's Jesus. I mean, my and and, <laughs> and with the new uh, string templates, uh, that was mm -hmm. that was a good improvement. Uh, but you also mm -hmm. need to type that on the Java 15. I I'm, I'm seeing a, a much uh, better path right now, uh, and I can mm -hmm. see also. Can we improve it? Probably yes, uh, but that's that looks much better now. That's yeah. what I wanted to add. Yeah, sure. Pedro. Yeah, I would you say that. that uh, Go ahead. Yeah, <clears throat> I'd say that uh, it looks like uh, uh, the 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 f strings in Python now. It's almost almost like the f strings in Python, where we can just uh, write the code inside the the, the part of the, the the string we want and run anything like this. So yeah, this this is much easier to to use when we have when we can just put okay I I want to join something and put it here. That's it. Yes, yes. Many languages has something like that. Java decided to use this uh, slash and uh, this kind of things because. Uh, Java mm -hmm. doesn't, uh, Java supports old versions, so she doesn't have break chance. It mm -hmm. does not use the dollar that it's the, probably the most common mm -hmm. in many languages. So, yeah. this is the reasons. Okay, great. So, job well done. Let's move on. So, let's talk now about instance of, because I think most of us have already used it instance of. So for this example, we have three class. We have the animal, the token, and the lion. Token and lion extends the animal, OK? All of them have the method get food. So if you create a method, for example, it that receives an animal and then get the food, uh, I know that it's maybe not the best name for the method, but you'll get the idea. So in this case, we need to have the instance of and then the cast, if you're using, for example, Java 11. So then I ask you, can you improve it? And I hope your answer will be yes, because we have pattern matching, for instance, of that was available on Java 16. So if you're using Java 17, you can declare the variable in the if statement, mm -hmm. and you do not need to cast it anymore. And now it much easier to read and to use. Amazing. And why not ask again, can we improve it? <laughs> and yes, we can. If you are using Java 21, we have pattern matching for switch by the JAP 441. And we can do something like that. 
And as you can see, we have the case no. And this means that we do not need to have the if statement uh, to prevent no pointer exception. Mm -hmm. With that, we can uh, cap the case of no and do whatever we want and avoid no pointer exception or throw another exception. So we have much more control over our application. So in the left, we have the previous solution. And on the right, we have the, the, the best solution or not. Because I ask you again, can we improve it? <laughs> what do you think? That's always mm -hmm. good to have improvements. <laughs> Now I am open to, to, to opinions. What do you think? Can we improve it? Do you think something that I don't know? <laughs> mm. And, I don't and like the default. It. Well, let, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if you can improve it. I, I miss, I'm missing the default here. Yeah. Uh, yeah we, we, we are one. going to get on this point. However, what you have is our animal class has the method get food. And then we have the lion that has the method get food and the token that has the method get food. So all of them has the same method. So the right solution is to use polymorphism. So you have that. We do not need to have instance of. It's just calling animal.getFood, polymorphism, OOP. This is the basics, right? So, well, you can ask me, okay, so why do you have this kind of instance of pattern matching, why do you have that? Well, let's see again our example. Uh, I see that uh, the switch improvement is amazing too. Java is becoming better and better. Yeah, thank you, Luis, for your comment. Uh, so, okay, so let, let's get back to our example. Uh, again, if anyone wants to interrupt me, feel free, no problem. So we have the animal, the toucan, and the lion. They have different actions. So toucan know how to fly, and lion know how to hunt and how to climb tree. So in this case, if you have a method do action, we cannot use polymorphism in this case. So we need to have this instance of and this cast. If you are using, of course, Java 11. If not, and I ask you, can we improve it? I hope you answer yes, because now we know that we can use pattern matching for instance of that was available in Java 16 and declare the variable in the if statement. And this become much better. And if I ask you again, can we improve it? I hope you answer yes, again, because you can use pattern matching for switch. And now we have a really awesome solution. We have the case new, we have lion, we have token. Amazing. Good job. And why not <laughs> try to improve? So let's try to improve. Trying to improve, challenge accepted. Let's improve it. So again, we have these three class, animal, token, and lion. OK, if you're using Java 11, you have that. However, if you're using Java 17, maybe you can use Sealed class. So let's see a little bit about Sealed class and when it can bring some benefits. So in this case, we have the animal that it's a Sealed class that permits token and lion. As you can see here, the token and the lion both are final. And this happened because uh, when you have a select class, all the subclass must be final, select, or unselect class. And in my case, token and lion, they are final, and this means that no one can extend it. So we kind of have control of the inheritance. Amazing. So what happened with our previous solution? Well, nothing. Nothing, nothing changed, okay? It's the same solution, it's the same thing. So where is the benefits of using select class? Well, let's see. Let's add a new animal. So now we are adding a new animal. 
colored shark. And now we have our animal that permits the shark. And shark know how to swim. So now what happened with our previous solution? Well, now we have a compilation error. And this is amazing because now we have in during the compile time, we have an error. And what is very common, I don't know if you have a red passage through, through something like that, but it's very common to forget to implement a switch case because we don't know about it. So now with Sealed class in this type of case, we have a completion error. And this is amazing. This can avoid some runtime errors. And here, Pedro talking about the default. In this case, we do not have the default. And if you have the default in this case, we do not have the compilation error. So it's very important to be aware of it. So if you implement the default, we lost this kind of thing, this kind of thing related with the compilation error because we have the default. So if you're using Sealed class, pattern matching for switch, and try to do something like that, maybe have the default, it's not the right solution. The right solution is to implement out of the case. Amazing. Job well done. Great. I don't know if anyone have any questions, you know, otherwise I will keep going. Yeah, uh, that looks uh, great because you can just, you, you are, you have to implement that in the switch case if you introduce anything else uh, on the seal classes. And so there is no forget about that. That, that that's good. That that's an awesome new feature that I can see here. Yes, yes, for sure. Yes, uh, avoiding errors during runtime. I think it's it's the best thing. Yeah, yeah I remember that I have read uh, an article about the 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 relationship between this pattern matching in switch and sealed classes and the visitor design pattern. Uh, because the idea of visitor was exactly that. So we, 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 need, we had to have the implementation of the class because you're adding some methods and stuff, and then you get compiler errors everywhere and you use the visitor, exactly because you create a new class. And now we don't need to do all that interfaces and all the stuff that we had in visitor and just using a, a pattern matching for switch in the, in the sealed class, like it will be much easier to use. And I, 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 I think that many people don't use, didn't use visitor because it was like too complicated. <laughs> and, and now we can use this like in much, e in a much easier way. Yeah, sure. Out of the box. <laughs> Out of the box. Exactly. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Amazing. Job well done. Uh, and uh, before I keep going, on the end, I'm going to share all the slides and the code if you want to play. Okay. So you that are here watching us, on the end, I'm going to share these slides and the code and more things. Okay. So let's get back to the past and let's see our JSON again. So our JSON, it's, this is a Pokemon, right? Bubasar. Uh, so how about this class? Well, if you're going to try to have some kind of immutable class, you have something like that. A final class, final fields, and only getters. And OK, this works if you're using Java 11, Java 8. However, why not? Ask you again, can we improve it? <laughs> and yes, we can. We can use the records. Records was introduced on Java 16 and it's kind of immutable, and it's the same thing as the previous one. Actually, it's better. If you are using record, they have trust final fields. So in some case, they are faster than normal class. So only because you are using records, you can have some improvements related with performance. And this is amazing. It's only two lines, and you have more benefits than the previous one. Amazing. And then you can ask me, can you use record for pattern matching? <laughs> well, 
let's see so yes we can so we can have the same thing okay we have the record patterns introduced by the jap 440 and you can do something like that but not only that we can improve it so we can break our records and only get the fields that we want to so in this case we only get the name and the id and the id we do not need to create a variable for the pokemon we only extract the data just to be clear okay so we can do that create the variable for the records and then get the fields or do that it's what you prefer this maybe it's easier because you do not need to create many variables amazing and then you can ask me okay can we have record inside record and this maybe become some chaos right well let's see so now we have two records we have the pokemon and we have the pokeball and a pokeball have have a, a pokemon right so okay great so let's see how it's going to be the solution so if you're using java 11 you have something like that instance of cast yeah not very good what happened in our case if the pokeball is empty if there is no pokemon here well you we have an error and an error that probably most of us have already seen if our pokeball is empty when you try to read pokeball.pokemon.name we have a no pointer oh. exception and yeah this is bad right so can you improve it <laughs> yes we can improve the no pointer exception actually it was already done so if you are using java 17 you probably are using the helpful no pointer exception because it's by it's done by default and now it's much easier to identify a no pointer exception so now we know why we have a no pointer exception it's because the pokeball.pokemon is new amazing so much, that... much more helpful right yes because before our no pointers is just a stack trace and go figure <laughs> yes okay. and when it happened in production and it, depending I... on the code yeah it can be a serious problem <laughs> yeah for sure so fixing it if you fix it we have the if statement for catching the null and okay this works again java 8 11 17 maybe uh so i ask you again can you improve it and the answer is yes we can use record patterns that it's the previous uh job that i show you and you can have a record inside record so in this case you can have something like that pokeball and then uh, Pokemon record. And yeah, we can have that. And now maybe you are looking at me with a bad uh, face that uh, I do not like that. It's not easy to read. You have a lot of things in one if statement. Seems like a code smell. So let's try to improve it. We can use var. And var, I hope you already know, because it was introduced on Java 10. So using var, it becomes a little bit easier to read. However, I ask you again, can we improve it? <laughs> Why not? And yes, we can use unnamed patterns and variables. That was a preview feature introduced on Java 21. And now we only have the underscore. We do not need to declare the type and either the name and now it much easier to read and to use and now in java 22 this become a finalized feature it's not a preview anymore and it works as the same so amazing <laughs> so now it's the scala <laughs> <laughs> if you <laughs> actually have, actually have underscore in many languages also we have yeah. this in Dart and others. Uh, okay, so. 
I remember I remember when I was re- I studying Scala. It was in two thousand nine or something, and I and uh, when I saw this this thing is there, and say, oh my god, this is nuts. <laughs> And it, it took a time to, to Java to get there. Yeah, but but it's amazing that Java it's it's getting the the, the good things from other languages and improving mm-hmm. the languages so we can deliver uh, better solutions mm-hmm. easier, uh, fewer bugs. So as you can see here, the first approach it's probably what you are right now. You probably do that, or you probably have done that in your code. Instance of cast if. Now, in only one line, we can do the same thing, but better. So now you just declare what you're going to use, right? If you're yes. not using, right. just put an underline there and you're ready to go. Yes. Awesome. That's all. OK, great. Job well done. And because you are talking about unnamed things, how about the main? <laughs> can you improve the main method? You are so familiar with that. Oh, Can improve it. <laughs> yes. I hope. Yes, you can. Oh. Of course you can. We do not need to have public static uh, arguments. Void. We can only have void man that was done by Jeff. Is, is that inside a class or it's we just do, void man? Yes, we do not need to have a class. You can, but you do not need. So you can do it without. Uh even a class. Uh, and this is amazing. Awesome. Of... Go ahead, Igor. That's a big one, right? I believe it... they didn't, they touched a lot of things, but they yeah. didn't touch May until now. Yeah, That's a big is. one. And, and this is amazing for beginners. So now Java is much easier to beginners to learn and start doing things in Java because now Java become kind of easier to start. Of course, you are not going to use an image class in production, but for learning, this is amazing. And Why in Java not? 22, this become a second preview. So this means that they are keeping improving this kind of thing and this idea to Java becoming an easier language to learn and to use. Yeah, I, I would say that I, I've been like, teaching Java for a long time. And this this was always a problem. Every time I have the people, oh, let's write the, the hello world. And I said, oh, just copy exactly like this. Don't think about it. <laughs> and copy that and, and run. And yeah. let, let's get it run. And then it it always a problem because the people don't write Oh, people use like uppercase, lowercase, and they just put everything in the, and all, all stuff. And, and hello world is always a difficult moment in, yeah. in the first class of Java. So yeah, it's amazing. It's really good for, for the teachers. Yes, <laughs> the first thing the teachers say is ignore everything that you are seeing. Ignore static, ignore public, ignore the arguments. String yeah. the, Focus on the body, what's inside. You just put that. Yeah. That's just for work, right? You need yeah. to put that to work. Louise is asking here, and how to use the args if args if you need it? Well, you can use it. It's it's the same thing. You can you just don't... put there. Yes, you do not need to have the public static void main args. You do not need to have all this kind of thing. You do not need to have a class. But if you want to, you can. Mm, yeah. If you you're do... explicitly using the args from the execution, you just go with the old one, right? Yes. Oh, the, uh, you need to go to the old one, or you need to just put the args here in this code? Inside the man. That's a good Inside question. Inside the man now. Yes, yes. Uh, it's a good question. If uh, I'm not sure, but I'm kind of sh- pretty sh- I'm not 100%, but uh, if I'm not wrong, you can use here, okay? There is no problem. You can use here. The thing here, it's like the main, it's easier to read and to understand, but if you want to, you can use the arguments, use the, the public 
you can do what you prefer. You can declare a class if you want to. If you do not want to have a class, you don't need. Okay. So, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Great. Job well done. Great. Let's keep moving because we have more features. So, how about collections? Well, you have probably write some code like that to get the last element from a list. So dot size and then minus one and get the last element. This works, but can we improve it? <laughs> and the answer is yes. Uh, in Java 21, we have the sequence collections. So we have uh, some new features for many collections, not all of them, as you can see here. So some collections that can be sorted, uh, that the order means and it's important. For example, as you can see here, we do not have hash set because it doesn't have sense to get the first or the last element in a hash set. But for, the, for other collections, it makes sense. So we have this kind of uh, sorted elements, sorted collection, let's say that, for uh, some collections. So now to get the last element, we can do only that. And much better, only one method, easier to, to write, easier to use, amazing. Job well done. Just, just a minute, a go question. Ahead. Yes. Can you go back? Yes. You said, OK, this, this, is a list of, this is a list of Pokemons. We can get less, right? Yes. But in the, in the previous slide, yes. the sequence collection is Ah, oh, so yeah, we see yeah, list, list, list is here. Yeah, list is in high Yeah, all right. Mouse. Yeah. Cool, cool. I was not seeing okay. that. Yes. As you can see here, for set, we do not have hash set because it doesn't make sense. But for example, uh -huh. linked hash set, keep the order. So we have for linked hash set. For right. sure. Well, nice. OK, great. So let's keep moving. And now you can think. OK, that's all. Where is Java 22? Because most of the things that I show here was preview or finalized features. But where is Java 22? There is any new thing here in Java 22? Well, let's see. So here have many Pokemons. And let's try to create some teams okay, of these Pokemon. So we are going to divide each team with three Pokemons each. So we have the first team, Pikachu, Charmander, and Bulbasaur. Then we have Squirtle, Jigglypuff, and Eve. And the last one, Mewtwo and Gengar. Okay? Let's try to do this kind of chunk of these elements. So you can do something like that. And this will work. Okay? So you can have this chunk list, receives all the Pokemons, and then chunk size, that will be three. And we can break it into many teams, each one with three or less Pokemons. OK, this work. However, I ask you, can you improve it? And I really hope you answer yes, because you can use Stream. And this, you already know, right? Because the Stream was introduced on Java 8. So we can do that. However, why not ask you again? Can you improve it? Can you make it better? And the answer is yes. Now, in Java 22, we have Stream Gathers. And you can do something like that. And it's much, much easier to write and to read now. So only a few lines, and you have the same result as the previous one. Uh, stream Gathers brings a really powerful to, to streams. You can do a lot of things. I'm not going deep on that because I have more things to share. Uh, but I really do recommend to go deep on that. and. This is amazing. So again, we can have this kind of solution. This was introduced on Java 22 as a preview feature. Great. Yeah, that's awesome. Absolutely awesome. I have done that manually in previous versions. Uh, this can get real tricky. And having these out of the box, uh, awesome, awesome. 
really nice to see this evolution. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, great. Job well done. Let's move on. And how about the constructor? Can I improve it? <laughs> so in this case, you have our Pokeball. And let's say that to create a Pokeball, we call uh, an API or the database. It's an expensive call, OK? Let's uh, think on that. And let's create an extension of Pokeball. Let's create our Ultra Ball. So in this case, our Ultra Ball has a rule, OK? So we throw an exception if the level is higher than 80, something like that. And we want to do that before creating the Pokemon, the Pokemon, because again, the Pokemon is too expensive. So if you're using Java 8, 11, 17, 21, you probably need something like that. A static method that validate the Pokemon and return the Pokemon because you do not want to create the Pokemon. However, if you're using Java 22, now we have the statement before super, and now you can do something like that. And OK, I know that maybe you are looking on that and think, oh, this is not uh, very clean. <laughs> uh, this can introduce maybe some bugs. What happens if I use, for example, this dot and get something? And yeah, this behavior have in other languages, OK, this kind of uh, statement before super. And in case of Java, we have some rules, OK, to avoid this kind of bugs and this kind of things. So I'm not going deep on that, but it's important to know that there are some rules. You can't do anything you want here, OK? You can do only some small things. You cannot use the this dot something. You cannot use attributes from the super class, things like that, OK? There are some rules. so. You, Java is trying to uh, help you to avoid doing some uh, code smell and bugs. Okay. Okay. Great. Job well done. Uh, we talk about here about a lot of things. Most of these things are from Project Ember, and the goal of Project Ember is to explore and incubate smaller, productivity-oriented Java language feature. So. We talked about pattern matching for switch, pattern match for instance of switch expression, local variable type inference or var, records, select class, string templates, text blocks, unnamed class and instance main method, unnamed patterns and variable, and statement before super. Many, many things. Uh, this first part is the biggest one, OK? The, the second one, it will be faster. But I want you to share here on the comment which one of these features is the feature that you are more, more excited with. And I do, want, do also want my colleagues to share which one of these features, or if there are other features that you are excited with, share here with us, please. Yeah. Can we vote? <laughs> yeah. The pattern matching, for instance, of I really liked about that. Uh, I can see that very, very good. Uh, something that we are going to use a lot, 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 I can see is this string templates enhancement, especially on the task, tasks that I'm currently working. I have done lots of things with that. Records. Uh, looks awesome i've been playing then with them but the way you you can use that uh with uh pattern matching that that's really powerful too uh pedro celia which one yeah, do you I, like most <laughs> i would vote to string templates it, it's incredible how we use strings in our day-to-day -day work and having something to, to to make strings easier is amazing of course the all, all of all others are interesting but i think it's in a structural 
way. So when we are creating the the structure for our design, but the string templates will be used everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, I agree. So string template, of course, I, I see some, some old code in, in front of me and then I, I think I can uh, apply that there. Also pattern matching. I think there are a lot of candidates I have seen where I could use it. And uh, what is not on the list is sequence collection, what you mentioned, Tiago, with this uh, element first and uh, first element or last element, or you can also reverse a collection. I think it's also useful. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, here I'm only showing things related with Project Ember, but mm. we have other features like uh, sequence collection that does not belong to Project Ember, but... Okay, right. Yeah, but... yeah, but, mm. but it's also uh, an amazing feature. Uh, and yeah, just... Uh, I'm going to, to keep going. Uh, thank you, Luis, for the comment. And on the end, again, I'm going to share the slides, the code, and uh, everything so you can play around with it and test it out. And yeah. Uh, and the slides that I'm going to share have more slides because here I need to cut some slides off because of our time. So I'm not going to talk here about garbage collector. I want to, but I don't think we have enough time. Mm -hmm. So we skip it this part. Yeah, and... comment from Luis and from George. They also are great evolutions. This switch, switch changed. Uh, looks awesome, awesome. You have, you can have that much more smaller. And, and also the seal class is something that called my attention as well, especially if you have now this compilation error when you're adding uh, another dependency to your seal classes. Uh, you, you can have mm -hmm. a, a system that's much more uh, uh, secure. You're, you're not going to have runtime compilations. You just, uh, you're, you're having the error before it occurs in production, much better. Yeah, sure. Okay. Thanks for your comments, guys. Yes, thank Let's you all. Go. And please keep commenting. If you have any question, also please put on the chat. Uh, on the end, I will try to give some uh, time for questions. But if you have any question, feel free to ask. OK, so let's talk now about the frameworks and the future. And this is also very important, OK? Uh, so let's start talking about the frameworks. Probably you are using Spring. And if you're using Spring, I hope you are already using Java 17 and maybe Spring 3.1. Otherwise, your application uh, is outdated and it's not supported anymore, unless you have commercial support that at least I do not see this very often. So we should update our applications to the latest version, and I'm going to show you why in a minute. But before that, if, you're, if you want to create a new project in Spring, if you go to Spring Initializer, you see that now we have Java 22, 21, and 17. OK, so you must use at least 17. And I hope now that you are going to use the new features of Java and the new version of Java. And why you need to keep updated using the latest version? Well, I'm going to show you now some reasons. So this is one reason, OK? Security, CVS. And this is another. And this is another, another, another. And I keep going. I keep going forever. Uh, the reason why you need to keep updated, it's because you probably don't want and if you want, please put on the chat. But I think and I hope that you don't want to work on your weekend, on your holiday, because your boss tell you that you have a security issue, that it's critical, and you need to fix it now. Think about it. You're using Java 8 in your code, and now you have a security issue because you're using Spring 2.x. 
And now you need to use Spring 3.2. You need to migrate the Spring application. You need to migrate Java. You need to migrate everything, the libraries, the dependencies. Yeah, you probably don't want that. You probably don't want to work uh, on your holidays, on your uh, weekend. So we need to keep updated using the latest versions. And this is Spring. But if you talk about Quarkus or any other, it's kind of the same. So Quarks, if you're using the latest version of you want to use any version above 3.7 or 3.7, you need to use at least Java 17. And the security is the same thing because it's softer, right? It's softer. So it happens. So this is why you need to keep updated. You need to keep using the latest versions uh, to avoid serious problems and also working on weekend. <laughs> okay, amazing. And how about the new features? <laughs> Don't get scared. I'm not going to take a long time here. I'm going to go quickly. So of course I'm not going to go deep because you do not have time enough for that. But only on Java 22, we have much more things. And here I'm only talking about Japs. So we have, for example, region pinning for G1. We do not have time to talk about garbage collector, but probably you are using G1 in your production and only by using the newest version, you have, uh, you increase your performance, okay? You have low latency. So only because you are updating the version of Java, you can have uh, fewer latency, high throughput, only because you are using a new version of Java. And this is region pinning, but you have also other things like foreign function and memory API, class file API, launch multi file, vector API, structured concurrence, scoped values, and yeah, many features. And if you talk about the features, the feature, we have much more. So if you think on Java 23 and future, you have primitive types in pattern instance of and switch, maybe generation for Shenandoah, valid class and objects, string templates, class file, APIs, more previews, markdown documentation, uh, derivative record creation, and much more. Okay, so Java is keeping improving and improving. And if I ask you now if you are ready to keep updated, I hope your answer will be, yes, I'm right. And then you can ask me, OK, I'm ready to keep updated. But how to stay up to date with the news? So it's easy. You can follow the OpenJDK documentation. It's very clean, very easy. OK, uh, the documentation is really very open and easy to read and to follow. You can also search more gems. This is the link. Again, I'm going to share these slides so you can get the links. Uh, not all the improvements are done by gems. So as you, as I showed you before, some things are not done by gems. So it's also important to read the release notes. So you can do that uh, accessing the release notes from Oracle. And last but not least, you can also follow my blog where I'm posting about best practicals and more tips to help you to improve your productivity with Java. And this is all. Thank you. You can uh, reach me out and ask you any question on my LinkedIn if you prefer. If you have any question, you can also ask here. This QR code has uh, the link for my blog, uh, the link for the code, and also the link for slides and all the slides, including the part of garbage collector that I cut out. And I work. <laughs> Fox. Uh, it's a Portuguese company. So if you also want to uh, go to Portugal or work here in Portugal or want to know more, you can also reach me out and I'll be glad to help you. 
And yeah, this is all. Uh, if you have any question again, put on the chat and now I pass the words to my colleagues because I do also want your opinion about the future of Java. What do you think? Absolutely. First of all, thanks a lot for our presentation, Tiago. It was really awesome to see all of these new features and your explanation was pretty good uh, and pretty clear joining all together all of these new features. Uh, we have uh, a present, uh, an awesome present and future for Java as far as I can see right now with all of these new features and most of all, we, we will need to have applications up to date. So there will be a lot of work to update that and companies and everyone needs to put, put their applications updated. Otherwise they will be in risk, but great features, uh, new resources for us, for us developers and new performance things and great the way you have presented guys uh read the qr code here so you can grab these slides and the presentation and also be in touch with tiago here and thanks a lot for our presentation tiago thank you thank you all yeah it was awesome man uh I, I I was thinking about the question and how to keep up to date, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's really hard to currently to be to keep up into up to date. Ah, well, and I would suggest if uh, that we have lots of good uh, AI that helps us to to keep keep in touch with all this news and like crap scrapping all this stuff for us and summarizing so yeah looks like keeping keep, keeping keeping up with all this information is is something that we can leverage ai too <laughs> yeah and another tip how to keep updated it's following us so you can follow us here on uh, youtube i don't know where is it but you can also follow us and yeah we are trying sure. to to also share new things mm -hmm. absolutely because all uh, of us we are always uh writing and making talks like the one that you're just watching follow follow tiago uh his contacts are here on the slides mine it's on my own name you can reach out to my blog igorfragadev.com you will find all the links into there you can reach out to pedro cavalero uh, that's on twitter x right pedro yeah, Twitter and PedroCavalero.com. Yeah. And Sila, we can reach out to follow your content. Yes, on uh, Twitter or LinkedIn. And yes, my site is coming soon. So I, I only I only have a blog site right now, but uh, I'm still working on it. So having more content on, on it. Absolutely. And, and like oh, always, awesome. every two weeks and uh, this week not the next one the other one we will be always here sharing with you guys all the knowledge and all of the hot topics so you can be always up to date with the latest technologies and evolve your career of, in the development path we're talking about uh, new language features like today and we're all, always talking about from ei and and everything related to our software engineer career so follow us all here all the time and we will you will be always learning together with us because all of us are learning in this tech world every single day pedro go ahead oh, <laughs> <the balloons. laughs> it's not what i want to but yeah go on <laughs> Try again, and that, now it will be bigger. <laughs> Show us the balloon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well done. But then, do you want to, to say something? I want to say. Oh yeah. 
some last yeah words. just uh, yeah i just say that i want to say that then this weekend we're going to have this global career summit for people who want to work abroad so we uh, uh this this will be the first first event like that it's a remote one so you can find that in globalcareer.com and uh, and if you you can you can register that and if you use my coupon our coupon java15 we you can get 15% discount in the registration so it will be awesome to get to be there because there i will be i will be having a talk there on saturday and uh, i'm talking about the uh, 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 attack interviews but we're gonna have lots of can, good can talks. Can you share and... For yes. sure. Thank you. Yeah, can you just give me a minute. And also the, the, the promo code. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's it's share important. that. Uh -huh. Let me get and, here. And to you that uh, are still here with us, uh, I have a, a last thing. So if you are struggling with this kind of update from Spring or Java, and if you want uh, more information about how to do this kind of thing, please put on the comments here. And if you realize that there are people that want to uh, like update, upgrade the versions of Java, of Spring, of the frameworks in an easier way, for example, I don't know, uh, JUnit 4 to 5 and things like that. If you are struggling with that, and if you want to know an easier way to do that, please put on the chat or on the comment. And if you realize that you want that, we may bring uh, an international speaker to talk with us and share a way to do that in an easy way. Amazing. Thank you. Great. But you are, we are, you are also an international speaker, Thiago. You just brought us right now. <laughs> yeah, we can bring another one if, if the audience wants. <laughs> Absolutely, guys. Your questions are our next subjects. If you have something you want to hear, to share, just put in comments below and we can bring it to the discussion. You're a part of it, so let's do it together. Anything else, guys, you want to share? Sila, Pedro, Thiago, are we good? Everything good. Looking forward to the new features and using the all those. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this conversation today in the out of the box developer with all of the new features that Java is bringing us. We have a shiny bright feature with Java today and uh, looking forward to put that all in practice and use it all. So we see you in two weeks from now and follow us in the social media and all of our platforms so we can keep in touch. And see you in your next the out of the box uh, developer show. That's mm -hmm. it, guys. Thanks a lot for being here with us. Thank you. See you in the next. Thanks, Sila. Thank you, Pedro. Thank you, Tiago. Well Thank done. You. Awesome. Thank you all. See you. Thank you, everybody. See you. Bye. See you.